Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Fabian from the Paper Letter Blog and today I'm going to open the first half of this incredible mail I have received. Now, as you can see from this pile, I've picked up another seven pieces of mail. I have to admit, I already picked these up uh, about 10 days ago now. Yeah, exactly 10 days ago, but I haven't gotten the chance to film this yet. I'm always trying to be in the right headspace for this. And on top of that, I just got an email that there's already 10 pieces of mail and a package in my PO box again. 10 days, 10 pieces of mail. That's absolutely incredible. I'm definitely still getting spoiled. It hasn't slowed down. Absolutely crazy. I am so grateful for all of you. And uh, whether the mail is big or small, I appreciate every single one of you. And the reason why I'm filming this now, it is already night time evening so the sun is about to go down so it's gonna get a bit darker but i wanted to film this now because i'm actually editing p.o box opening 30.2 so that's the previous batch and it was so much fun to again see all of that mail being opened i felt like okay <laughs> now i want to open some mail so here we are i'm going to do two things before i get into opening this mail First, I'm going to tell you everyone I have replied to since the previous video. And then I'm going to pick one random person who gets a guaranteed reply. Everyone else still has a chance of getting picked for a reply, but um, I just like to do that in these videos as well so that you get some sort of a sneak peek as to what is coming. As I said, I randomly pick people to reply to. I use a random number generator for that. So no, not everyone gets replied, but I obviously try to reply to as many of you as I possibly can. And that was my cat Sage. I use a uh, random, no, <laughs> I use a photo diary app for that. Mine is called Diary, but I know there are a ton out there that you could use. Okay, so I think I'm fairly certain in the previous uh, video I told you about Aliana from India, Ronya from Germany, Chloe from the Netherlands and Amber from the Netherlands. Right, and Puya from USA and Zahira from Canada, if I'm not mistaken. I should have told you about that last time if I didn't mess up my, uh, <laughs> if I didn't mess up my uh, photo diary app. So then that means that I can now tell you that I have replied to Marissa from the Ner Netherlands, Franziska from Germany, scroll scroll, Peg from the USA, Rebecca from Australia, Kristen from the USA, Ingeborg from Norway, and I've replied to more people but I have not put them in the app yet so I'm just checking my pictures. I've also replied to Alinda from the USA, I have replied to, where's the picture, where's the picture? Replied to Maritza from the Netherlands and I have replied to Sarah from Sweden. So all of these should be on their way. Oh that's funny, I have replied to Marissa from the, the Netherlands and Maritza. So they're, they're two different persons. One is with an X, one is with a Z or a Z. But they're different people actually. So I replied to all of these people and I am obviously still working on replies. But after filming this video, I have to go back to work. So probably I will be a less uh, able to, um, to write mail. Now, I'm going to pick one person to uh, receive like the guaranteed reply. I can take this one out because it doesn't have a return address. But quick, 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 Katie from Ontario, Canada. Could you please contact me through Instagram or email because they actually stamped thanks healthcare workers over your address. So I cannot read your return address and it will be a waste or a shame, not a waste. It will be a shame. For Sage, can you stop meowing through my video? It would be a shame if I, um, picked your name I couldn't reply because I cannot read it. Random number between zero and six because I have seven pieces of mail, one doesn't have a return address. Uh, why does it not give me a random number? Because I'm using a different one. Okay, go. Random number of the day is number three. So that is one, two, three. That means that Leah gets a reply. Leah, actually, I think already, I've already replied to you once. So that should be fun. Um, so Leah, you get a guaranteed reply, but everyone else still has a chance of getting a 
corner eye for me. I want to open these three. I just kind of um, make piles that I think are kind of the same in length of video. So that is why I'm going to open these three today. I have taken a sneaky peeky at this one. The other two are still closed. Might as well start with this one then. This one is from, let me check, check, <coughs> sorry, Louise from the UK. Um, and I have replied to Louise a couple months ago and now she has replied to me again. So all I did is I opened the envelope because I am a curious person and I took out the uh, the letter that I could read and that is all I did. So the rest is still a surprise to me. I'll just leave that out. So this is her envelope, really cute. She decorated it with these little dots, some washi tape, some butterflies, which is always good. I cannot show you the back because her, her return address is on there, but there are some more butterflies, which is always very nice. And then this, ooh, this is inside. Okay, it's actually stuck in the envelope. As I said, I only, uh, I opened it, I immediately saw a letter. So that is all I looked at. And inside is this pretty flip book. Hello Vivian, it's wrapped with pretty, pretty soft ribbon. Thank you for being you. Oh, that's adorable. I'll look at it front page first, not last page. <laughs> oh, there's like a, a chipboard uh, a key on the front and these beautiful little, how would you call them? Gemstones, I guess? Oh yay, there's some tea. There's Christmas in Paris tea for me. I think I've had a similar similar tea? Have I tried that yet? I do not actually know. I think I have a similar Christmas in Paris tea but from a different brand. Is that possible or am I completely going mad? Maybe I'm mistaken, I don't know, but Christmas in Paris tea, it's very summery now but I'm sure as hell going to enjoy that and it's held together with beautiful uh, copper piper clips and she stamped the word smile here. Then the next page, everything starts with a dream, beautiful die cut. I love your little collages. Oh my god, I immediately see this washi tape that I absolutely love. I don't even know like which page to focus on. There is a lot going on. We've got a few goodies. It's this one. Oh, and I love this chipboard that says love. I think I actually used the exact same one, did I? Yeah, I think I did. No, it's not. It's like nearly the same. Look, this is a project that I'm going to send out. I know that we made this in the live stream a long time ago, but I wasn't ready to send it out yet because I had, didn't finish the inside, but I'm finishing it now and it's like nearly the same. Oh, I love that font. <laughs> that is a funny coincidence. So we've got the few goodies. Pretty little pocket. Oh, first of all, she sent me, these are so much fun to use for like nail ties. And she sent me so many. These are little like note card envelopes. I don't know how else to explain it. Like you write a note or you put goodies in here and then you fold it and you've got the envelope and the, the note in one, which as I said, is perfect for like new ties. And it's so many, it's like 10 or something. Oh, thank you. These will come in very handy. She also closed one, which might hold some goodies. Yes, oh goodness. <gasps> Some, okay, make some space. Some gorgeous floral, 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 some gorgeous floral die cuts and some butterflies. Oh, pretty. Very nice. They have a little bit of a vintage look to them. A little bit of a vintage look to them. Actually, you cannot see it because um, the camera is like pointed down, but Sage is right there. If I would have shut up, you could have heard her yawn. <laughs> she has a very cute yawn. Also, yes, I have cat scratches all over my arm because that lady that is yawning in my windowsill right now, she ran out the front door. And the front door is where like a lot of cars zoom past. So obviously she's not supposed to go out the front door. Sage is a cat in case you didn't realize this yet, but um, she ran out the front door. I had to chase her, but she, was hiding underneath bushes. So when I finally did catch her, obviously she was disappointed because she didn't want to go inside. So then she scratched my arm. Actually, she was scared because um, someone was um, taking in the bins and that probably scared her. 
But I was very upset with her because no, she's not supposed to go at the front door. If someone were to have something were to happen to her, I would be absolutely devastated. Back to the mail. Okay, I can see some very pretty things. First of all, obviously, I already looked. I immediately was drawn towards this washi tape. I like all of them, but the top peaches one is absolutely adorable. I think it would go very well with some of the summery papers I have. And then some pretty flowers, more peaches. You must have a thing for peaches. I actually quite like that, like making a, a, a washi tape sample card with different, like similar style, no, not style, similar items like peaches. That is very clever. I could do that with botanicals. That's probably the only thing I have, like floral. Oh, and then I don't want to open this. I, I'm afraid it's going to go everywhere, but I do want to see, is this gemstones you used or is this sequins? Either way. Oh, <laughs> she closed it twice. That is very clever. They would have gone everywhere. Oh yay, it's the gemstone she used. I'll take out a couple, but yeah, basically it's the gemstones that we've already seen uh, in the rest of the mail, so I can easily show you those. These, that is clever. I can use these for decorating, obviously, or I could put them in shakers. That is clever, I like that. I also like the double closing, the folded closing of the the goodie pocket. I'm gonna do that whenever I send sequins because they go everywhere. And then this seems to be some stamps and airmail tickets. I love, can I just say that I love all of these textures of goodie bags. Like the crinkling, the sound the paper makes, that just makes me happy. <laughs> also because it's gift bags, let's be honest. Oh wow, oh these are actual vintage. I thought they were like stickers. Oh my god, that is so cool. I don't know if these are vintage, but they're like real. They are real. So we've got the airmail, Malaysia stamp, a little, is that, uh, oh, it's like a chocolate, a chocolate bread. Don't know if that was meant to be in there, but it's cute. <laughs> and then a whole bunch of stamps. Wow, these are really pretty. I really like these airmail little tickets. I wonder, I always wonder, because there's also companies that make stickers that look like that. I always wonder if um, my, the Dutch mail system. Hello, motorcycle gang, can you be quiet? I always wonder if the Dutch mail system would also accept that as air mail stickers, or if it has to be like the original Dutch ones. Otherwise, I'm just gonna use them for decorating, let's be honest. Wow, there's some really cool designs in here. Like these, obviously I've seen before, the ones from England, but with all the other ones, fairly certain are new to me. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What is this? The White House, USA. That is cool. Ooh. I also like this. This is the same stamp, but they have different color schemes. That is so nice. It looks really cool when you decorate with them. And these seem to be stickers, like maybe from AliExpress. I think I've seen them. Hello, Sage. Are you gonna come look through the mail? Or are you just going to do something else? Okay, bye. <gasps> that is very cool. I like this. I think I'm gonna separate the um, airmail stickers from the stamps. Like opening the mail is one thing like i get to sit here film videos but the next thing that needs to happen and that i haven't done in a very long time is actually organizing all the goodies i receive so stamps go with the stamps washi samples go with the washi samples stickers go with the stickers times a hundred i haven't done that in a while i probably should do that because i'm way behind so this is all of the pretty goodies that I received in this mail. How nice! And then obviously on the back it says, thank you for being you. Just a note, that's adorable. That is so adorable. Also, I'm probably going to reuse like a lot more than I should, like this pretty ribbon. 
Thank you so much for that, Louise. I really, really appreciate you writing back to me. I always say, and I mean that, that if I reply to you, you should feel in no way obligated to reply to me again because, oh, these are actually new, I think. I just realized, like, they're still on the sticker paper. Oh, that's even more special. This one as well. I thought they were like cut out, but they're actually new. Okay, Fabian Focus. Um, there's no obligation for you to reply to me if I reply to you. It's totally okay if it's a one time thing. That being said, I obviously love it when you can uh, form a better connection with someone if they reply to you. Again, like you can <laughs> get to know someone a bit better, but then. I always feel even worse when I do not get to reply to them again. So it's like a little bit of both. I love it when people write me back, but I also feel extra guilty when I cannot reply to them again. That's just the risk that comes with having a PO box, I guess. Okay, next up we're going to open this little mail from Ireland. It is from Jane. We all know Jane. Um, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but I'm actually working on a reply to Jane right now. I need my letter opener. Where did I put it? So, first of all, again, these incredible stamps. She always uses the best stamps every time she, uh, Jane seems to be able to include one I haven't received yet, which is quite special because she, she has used quite a lot of stamps uh, in all of her mail. This one. It's an Rococo, I don't know how to pronounce that, Rococo silver candlestick. I do know the word Rococo because it's also in Animal Crossing, but <laughs> let's not talk about that. And then again, these pretty little gemstones. And then, oh, this is so exciting. She, I will obviously read the letter afterwards. That's like for my eyes only, but... Okay, wait. Oh, this is cute. It's like wrapped all nice what? Mm -hmm. I don't know which way is up okay I think I'm supposed to spread it this way this is I think this is the front very nicely decorated but it looks like it says create your foot we <laughs> foot we I think it's supposed to say create your future but the font is a little bit foreign to me and then inside, I think this is a washi tape sticker. I think it is. Uh, and she stuck that on here with double sided tape. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I hope you guys can see, but it has a little bit of gold foiling in it. So if this is a, if, if I can peel this off, I'm pretty sure I'm going to reuse that. Because that is beautiful. And it says, some see a weed, some see a wish. That actually makes a lot of sense to me. I don't know if, uh, I don't know how to call it in. English? Is it called an, a dandelion? Dandelion? <laughs> I don't know, but there's like a yellow flower. In, in Dutch we call it a baardebloem, which literally translates to horse flower. It's a yellow flower, and then once it's like fully grown, it turns into a, a ball of seeds, like a puffy ball, and then when you blow the puffy ball, all of the seeds, they fly away. This is the weirdest explanation ever but the seeds fly away it's probably a very well-known flower and then you're supposed to make a wish so that's why i think this says some see a weed some see a wish because i don't look at that flower as weeds i look at it as something that will grant you a wish once it's fully grown and then we have a cute adorable little i'm just trying to scratch it a little tea pocket a little tea page uh, with a tag that says but first tea and i also think she again put this on with double-sided tape so that probably so i can reuse it it's absolutely great i also love this washi tape you used very I, I shouldn't hold it up like this no one can see it this washi tape with the little hearts i think something's in here oh this is actually a pocket <gasps> oh i'm glad i caught that there's like a little um mini notepad in there and there's something else <gasps> oh that is gorgeous it's, it's like gold leaf leaves gold leaf golden leaves oh i'm really glad i didn't miss that i probably would have found it when i was like um organizing the mail but still this one is oh Oh, this one also has something in it. Oh my god, it's the cutest little stickers. Okay, 
hidden goodies. I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna do that one time, like make a meal and say, 10 goodies are hidden in this meal. Can you find them all? Is it stickers or is it die cuts? I don't know. Okay, I got them all. Oh, these are all like foiled again. Happy birthday, it's time to celebrate. Many happy returns. I don't know what that means. A toast to you, thinking of you. A little scent with lol. Really cute. And then of course we have the back side, which I do not want to skip. A really pretty little gemstone. It has some flowers in it. I'm trying to hold it so that the light doesn't reflect too badly in it. And another little tie that says hugs. Sprinkle kindness like confetti. Oh, I love your color scheme today, Jane. I mean, I love all of your meals, but this, the pastel colors, they speak to me. <laughs> Let more light in. Can I peel that off and stick it on my forehead? <gasps> I like that. That is gorgeous. Thank you so much for that, Jane. Cannot wait to read your letter, which I will do after this video. But first, we have one more mail that we're going to open. This one, I don't know yet who it is from. There's no name on the back, just a, like a short return address. And it says, random act of kindness. So we're going to see. It looks like a handmade envelope. I think I should use scissors because it's held together with tape. And it also has two very cool stamps. Wait, I'll cut this open first. That's two stamps. This one says the cats. And then this one is from a well-known cartoon. Oh, hello. Oh, little paper clip. I mean, wooden peg. Why do I always mix these two up? Oh, it's from Antoinette. And it says, dear Vivian, I've been following you on YouTube for a while and I thought I would make you a small snail. I hope you like it, like snail mail. Oh my gosh, it's like a little, a little booklet. Oh, I'll just quickly retie the bow. This is the prettiest ribbon ever. Look how pretty pastel pink and soft that is. Okay, it's not probably not as pretty as hers, but a bow is a bow. So it's like a mixed media little booklet. Again, the gemstones, it's a returning, it's a little returning theme to die. I just need to oh and look all of the pages have like one of these ribbons to flip the page around i just i don't want to skip anything is this oh no i think there's actually oh i actually i it, i wasn't meant to wrap the ribbon oh <gasps> i completely got i completely got it wrong i thought it was a little booklet it's actually a long Okay, wait, I'm gonna look at it one page at a time. That is so cool. I was like confused, like this is a very fat page, but there's actually something on the back. I'm gonna look at the, this side first and then we'll flip it over to the other side. This is absolutely perfect. How did you know? <laughs> this first pocket says coffee and it has coffee themed stickers. That is absolutely incredible. That is absolutely insane because Proof right here, it says coffee americano. I'm actually collecting goodies for a coffee themed meal. I'm very sure I must have said that sometime, but oh my God, that is perfect. I'm gonna put them straight into the pile. That's such a coincidence. And then another beautiful little, um, little art piece page. Okay. Here's a little pocket with some stickers. I love this paper on the background as well with the dragonflies. It's a little goodie bag, a little goodie bag, with a bunch of stickers, or a little die cut actually. Oh, these are cute. All sorts of little elements I could use for a meal. Very cute. Sorry, I keep... I'm like so busy looking at everything, I don't show them to you as much. <laughs> That's just when I get excited, that is what happens. And then of course there was also this little peg that must have been on the mail before. Actually I'm thinking now, because this feels like it's textured, could you 
technically speaking, decoupage wooden pegs with napkins. Is that something that is doable? Because if so, that might might be what this is, and it might be my next project. <laughs> And here's a page that says fabulous and it's again really nicely decorated and then on the back we have this oh is it a cheetah i think it's a cheetah a little cheetah i had was like tiger no panther no cheetah and then here it says with love probably this is supposed to be the back but i want to look at it one page at a time so that i can really uh, give all of them some attention and then we have i'll just peel off the sticker here some tiny stickers here little mini sticker sheets <laughs> this one with vintage looking stamps vintage looking stamps we've got these gorgeous theater tickets always nice to use for decorating and these little girl wow that sounded very i had a very strong accent there all of a sudden uh i've been watching I forgot the name of the show. I've been watching a show on Netflix that has a very Irish speaking girl in there and I, I just pick up accents like I'm a chameleon. So sorry for that. <laughs> so little girl stickers. What a neat idea for a flip book. I'll show it in whole once I'm done going through it so you can see it. Look at the layout. I don't know what the word for that is in English. A little. Uh, I keep forgetting the word, a little collage again. And then we have this tiny little pocket um, that could probably hold a tag quite nicely or some goodies. And then, whoops, another little collage, a girly collage and a washi type sample, a tiny little washi type sample. I love this one with the handwritten font. I actually, like, I've been on no spend for six years now, no, uh, I just did a craft of haul, don't worry, I'm not actually on no spend, it's just something I tell myself. I actually ordered two handwritten font washi tapes from AliExpress the other day because, oh, this actually fits, that would be nice as well, because I love handwritten font washi tapes, so thank you for that. And then I'll just show you, okay, so it's like... It's like a flip book, but instead of gluing the pages together, she glued all the pages onto this ribbon. So it's like ribbon all the way. And then there's like the ribbon is sandwiched in between the pages. And then the pages are decorated either with a collage, with a little pocket, with a little tuck spot for some goodies. That is super clever. Really like that idea. I'm gonna, like, there are so many ideas I have to recreate, but this is another one of them. Because let's be honest, I have too much ribbon anyway. I really like that, Antoinette. Thank you so much. I really, I think I could um, direct, like, get your address from the. There's one that you're missing. Like, uh, 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 um, postal code is supposed to have four letters, no, four numbers, two letters and then the home address number, but it has four letter, four numbers and one letter. So Antoinette, if you see this, would you be so kind to send me your mail address because I cannot actually reply to this because I miss one of the letters from the postal code. I only have da 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 da, da E, and I'm supposed to get another one. So Antoinette, if you see this, please do reply, uh, send me an email or something uh, with your postal code so that I could find your address if you're, um, like if I one day get to reply, which would obviously be kind of great. So that is the last meal. I'm like really inspired actually. I'm gonna continue working on the PO Box video that I was editing. <laughs> Um, but this was a really nice little intermission for myself. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I make new videos twice a week, actually. And um, I have a lot of social media channels linked down below. Okay, bye-bye.